Hi everyone, I'm Allison from Astor Center. One of my favorite things to do during the summer is check out the green market. I think that they have the best selection of fruits and vegetables anywhere. Um, so, but not only do I like to cook with those, but I think that they're especially useful in making your own green market inspired cocktails. So today we're gonna go check out what they have and come back and make a cocktail or two. Let's go. So we're back from the green market and um, we're going to make a really interesting take on a margarita with some sour cherries and some reposado tequila. So let's get started. I'm really excited about this combination because I think that it's going to really play on the acidity of the sour cherries um, with a little bit of lime juice um, and we've made some cardamom simple syrup today. So that all three of those things combined I think will make a really interesting um, new way to think about margaritas green market style. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start by rimming the glass on our rocks glass. So what I'm going to do is just cut a slit in one of our cherries so it has a little edge for our rocks glass and then you can just take the whole thing, get it right on the rim there and go all the way around the top of your glass. This is salt and cardamom just crushed up and mixed together on a plate. So you're going to rim the, the top of your glass with your cherry and then what you're going to want to do is take your glass and roll it so it goes all the way around. If you're not a huge salt fan, you can do half of the rim. If you don't like salt at all, don't bother. Um, it's just kind of a nice balance to the acidity um, because salt will cut the acidity a little bit and make the more of the kind of fruit flavors stand out in the drink. So once you have your glass ready, you can set that guy aside um, and now we're ready to make our cocktail. So you're going to start. Um, I would use about six or seven of our cherries. Make sure you keep the stems off of these guys because um, that's going to contribute some wonky flavors to your cocktail. Add three quarters of an ounce of the cardamom syrup right in here. There you go. Then we'll muddle the cherries once that's nice and juicy and you'll be able to tell because it's it'll start to get pink and beautiful in there. That looks good to me. Take an ounce of lime juice, pour that right in there. And then we're gonna do an ounce and a half of reposado tequila. So now we have all of those in our mixing glass and we can add ice right on top. We can pop on our shaker and give this guy a shake for about 20 seconds. Now it's nice and cold. And nice cube or two. And there we are. You can see the cherries make this drink a beautiful color. And to make it especially interesting, um, you can stop at this step if you'd like, but I prefer a little more mystery to my margaritas. So what we're going to do is put a, a little bit of a mezcal float on top. To make a float, all you need to do is just pour your spirit right over the back of a bar spoon. And then for garnish, I'm going to take a fresh cherry and just slice it like we did when we were in the glass and put it right on top. And there we are. We have a sour cherry margarita.